Spoilers ahead. The identity of the player character in Poppy Playtime has been a point of discussion since theory videos first started coming out for it. Others have predicted that the player is one of Playtime Co.'s experiments, based on the death screen messages and what happens to us when we fall from great heights. Poppy also calls us too perfect to lose at the end of chapter 2. We have been told that we are an ex-employee of the company, both in chapter 1 during the title screen and by Mommy Longlegs during the statues game. If we are a former employee, I assume that we are an adult and not a child. It is also implied that we had left the factory. If he looked like any of the other experiments like Huggy Wuggy, Mommy Longlegs, or Poppy, we would not have been able to blend into the outside world. We would have been noticed. So that makes me believe that the player character is, or at least looks like, a human. We are also called an employee. That implied that we are not a part of management. So that should rule out people like Eddie Emin Ritterman, Leith Pierre, Elliot Ludwig, and Stella Graber. Who is left then? We have been introduced to other characters who might fit the description like Sarah Abel, Matteo Lotta, Patty Hall, Rich, and Avery Fry. You might remember Avery from the one video he was featured in. This seemingly unimportant character has made an appearance in both chapters. In chapter 2, he was only referenced on a post-it note in the Reject Toys warehouse area. I forgot to mention something that others have noticed about the player character. We are probably short. Let's look at the meaning of the name Avery. It means ruler of elves. That could certainly imply that Avery is a short person. His last name, Fry, as given to us on the post-it note, could mean free or a small person. If he left the factory before everyone else disappeared, he certainly would be free. Just like his first name, his last name Fry implies he is a short person. You've probably heard of the term small fry. Avery would be skillful at using the grab pack as he worked in the warehouse. He also has motivation for returning to the factory, finding out what happened to his friend Rich from the warehouse. When Rich was demoted to the Isle of Misfit Toys, it doesn't sound like Avery was sent there with him, and yet they kept in contact as evidenced by the post-it note. They were going to get lunch together. The location in which Avery worked was pretty close to the factory's main entrance. I'm sure that made it easy for him not to get caught up in what happened in the factory when Experiment 1006 escaped. Rich's location, however, was deep in the factory, which must have made it difficult for him to escape. So, Avery is short, good with a grad pack, an ex-employee, and in search of a friend. It may be a long shot, but I think he is the best bet for who the player character is so far. I'm Co Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, on a side note, I totally mixed up who Avery and Rich were. Did anyone else do the same? On our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it.